Greetings, best friends. Welcome back to my channel. This is your one and only brother, Ugo Oshin TV. I'm back. I'm back for good this time. So I apologize for not uploading videos all this while. However, going forward, you'll be seeing me often on this platform. I'll be uploading more videos. I promise never to disappoint you or to go away for a long time. Having said this, I want to start my video by telling you a little bit story of what motivated me to do this video. We have this trend going on in Nigeria currently. These content creators doing pranks and loyalty tests on their spouse. I was watching one of the videos. A man was trying to confirm what he saw on his wife's phone and he called one of the sisters. I he confronted his wife, you know, there was an argument between himself, his wife, and this lady who was helping him to confirm if his wife was cheating. And this man fell. This man collapsed in their presence. These two ladies desperate to help but doesn't know what to do. And this is where I come in. When you are walking on the street and you see someone collapse in the football, watching football, you see someone collapsed. You are driving. You see a, a car collision. There are some injured passengers inside the car. These are some of the steps you need to do to save a life before calling for a car to take the person to hospital. I know Nigeria is not like in the Western world where immediately you see someone collapse. You can call an ambulance within two or three minutes. The ambulance is, uh, is right there with you. This is what you need to do to make sure that this person is basically revived before a lasting damage is done to that person's brain. It's called CPR. You begin to perform CPR on that person. What do I mean by CPR? CPR is just a simple term. And the full meaning is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When you see someone collapse right in front of you, all you need to do is, before calling for help, please do these things to revive that person because when you leave that person within two to five minutes that person might have brain damage that collapse could be as a result of heart attack or heart failure and when this happens the blood that goes to the brain of that individual from the heart is cut off by the time you know it the brain might suffer a significant damage and how do you perform cpr all you need to do, kneel beside the person and take the heel of your palm, place it on the chest of that individual. Then use your right palm. If you're right-handed or you're left-handed, use the dominant one to place on that person's chest. Then use the second one and put at the back like this. Then lock it, place it on the heart of that person. Begin to do compression begin to press the heart press it so deep to five to six centimeter while you are pressing it don't use your hand muscle use your whole body lock your joints and use your whole body to press on that person's heart you need to do this 100 to 120 in a minute continue doing it until a help arrives that is what we call rescue breath most people might be scared of that person's mouth or don't. you can use whatever you know, clothes you have on you. When you compress the heart for like 30 successive times, then you can place the clothes you have in that person's mouth and blow until the chest rises. Then continue doing your compression. While you are doing that, what you are simply doing, when that person collapses, it is his or her heart that stopped working. You compressing the heart means you are trying to revive the heart. To start functioning again and you are trying to pump the blood from the heart to circulate in other parts of that person's body and the blood circulating on that person's body means circulating oxygen the blood we have in our body contains oxygen when the blood stops circulating in our body that that means our body stops receiving oxygen and when a brain stops receiving oxygen for between two to five minutes, the brain is bound to get damaged. So in order not to allow this to happen, you keep compressing that person's heart. It's called CPR. You have to be confident to do this. If you're scared, 
don't. So this process needs to be done 100 to 120 every minute. And after 30 times, give that person a rescue breath. You are blowing into that person an oxygen. You are blowing oxygen into the body of that person. If you think that person's mouth is smelling, you can use a cloth to cover that person's mouth while giving that person rescue breath. When you do this, you are saving someone's life. Like I said, when this, our brother collapsed, I watched, I was watching that video, it was about almost three minutes. And these ladies doesn't know what to do. This technique is bound to save somebody. Use this technique to save someone's life. A lot of people are just dying carelessly or having brain damage carelessly. This is because people don't know what to do in a situation like this.